Wilder's on it, yeah. Would we like to have seen him fight AJ? Of course we would, but he's not. On this occasion, he's going to fight Joseph Parker. AJ is going to fight Otto Wallen, who brings a, a bunch of danger with him, it has to be said as well. Bit of a loudmouth, Jarrell Miller will fight our own Daniel Dubois. And the whole thing, as I say, is going to be live on Talk Sport, coming to you all the way from Saudi Arabia. Simon, we'll get, get your take on it, because I know there's a bunch of things you want to let loose with, but the British heavyweight champion, Fabio Wardley, joins us live. Fabio, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. How's things, guys? How are we? Very good indeed. Thank you, my friend. When you heard about this, were you fired up about it, or did you, like many, think, well, if Wilder's on it and AJ's on it, I want to see the two of them fight each other? Yeah, it's six of one and, and half a dozen of the other, isn't it? Because, <clears throat> like, we want the big fight, but I think if we get this as a teaser first, if they both come through or come through this, come through well, because they're both in middling points of their careers. Like, Wilder's only had a fight, really, in the past two years. He's had one round, and, and AJ's coming off some not incredibly impressive performances. So these little two teaser fights for the pair of them, then put them together, then do the big announcement after the whole show. I think that gives us what we want. Now, Fabio, that, uh, obviously, uh, that will happen if it all goes to plan. What chance do you give Wallen against AJ? I give him a strong chance. I do give him a strong chance. Um, it, it, he's a very tricky operator. You show, he showed with Fury that he's got a lot in him. He can compete with some of them, them top-level guys, the highest-level guys out there. He's, got, he's on a good win. He's beat, obviously, the likes of Dominic Brazil, and then he's come off. He went. He had a fight with, with Gassiev, where he went over there, and he was. they brought him over there basically to lose. He was supposed to be the opponent, the one to lose, but then he actually won the fight and did very well. <laughs> so he's on a string of good ring, good wins, and he's got a lot of confidence behind him. So a confidence fighter is always a, a very dangerous fighter. Uh, uh, and he's chosen his words well, Fabio, when he describes that. Mm. I mean, Wallen could well upset the apple cart. Yeah, I mean, I think it's all dependent upon which Anthony Joshua turns up. If Anthony Joshua turns up as we would like him to turn up and lets his hands go and puts himself in range, then I expect him to beat Otto Wallin. Otto Wallin dines out on the notoriety of the performance against Tyson Fury two or three years ago where he damaged Fury before the Wilder fights. Uh, a Fury that probably wasn't switched on, a Fury that was in Engano sort of thinking mode where he wasn't as switched on as he could and should be. By the way, Fabio, you've got me in trouble with Fraser Clark because I was so supportive of you the other day. He's been giving me loads of abuse when we were on the other day with Richard Riakpo. Um, he deserves it. So now, I, now I definitely want you to go and beat him. Um, but, uh, I mean, if, if, if AJ turns up as we would like him to turn up and resembles something that, that he was once before... You'd expect him to deal with Wallin, wouldn't you, Fabio? Oh, yes, 1,000%. I'd, I'd expect him to deal with him within probably six rounds or so, to be honest. I'd, I'd, if we see the AJ that we've seen before, and I don't mean the, the massive, destructive, heavy puncher. I just mean a confident AJ who's, who's concise in what he wants to do. And you can clearly see it, that he's aggressive in the way he wants to press the fight, press his opponent, put them under pressure. And and win basically not the not to say that he hasn't wanted that in the past but I think some of that maybe ambition for lack of a better word has been lacking in some performances but if we get the AJ of old then I I almost think he will cruise through this performance. Uh, wh what about um, Joseph Parker going in against John T. Wilder? Is there only one winner there, and it ain't going to be Joseph? Yeah, it's it's always it's always a hard one to bank against that just kind of. <laughs> that ridiculous godlike power that Wilder seems to have in that right hand. Um, it's, it's always hard to bet against it. But with the form that Parker's in, with the confidence he's in, he's coming straight off a fight, obviously, on, on the October card, 28th as well. So he's, he's fighting fit, he's ready, he's been in the ring. There's no ring rust at all. I think they're the biggest question marks on both sides of ring rust versus someone who's been very active, very busy, fighting at a high level, coming off a good knockout as well in Parker. So... He's got confidence behind himself as well. And we've seen in cases with Wilder that when he's with those kind of more nimble opponents who can get closer to him, close the gap, closer in and out with their feet, he does he does so struggle a bit with them. So Parker does have the tools to cause a problem for Wilder, definitely. But he always has that equaliser. So it is, it is very hard to back the other way. I mean, Simon, I think you and I sat ringside, did we not? And saw Joe Joyce do a job on Joseph Parker. Yeah, he so, did. But, I mean, Joseph Parker hit Joe Joyce 
with pretty much everything and took on a different style than he normally takes on because one of the accusations I've made about Joseph Parker <laughs> is of all the talent that he's got, he doesn't let his hands go as much as he should do. Yeah. Right? And in a fight against Joe Joyce, he figured that was the way to go. And, and ridiculously at the time, Joe Joyce took the, the most ridiculous punishment and then got into this mode that he could take it forever in a day, which is why he got caught up with, uh, and lost to Zilli Zhang. I think Parker has a, has a, has a, has a chance in this fight. I think it's a dangerous fight for Wilder. It's not, you know, we all know what Wilder can do, but Parker is a technician. And if he can stay out of range and stay out of the way um, and land some significant blows, because I don't know how how big a punch Deontay Wilder takes, because Tyson Fury, whilst he's a heavyweight, he's not the heaviest hitting heavyweight. No. And he did damage to Wilder over a period of time. And you never know with Parker. Well, you I never don't know. expect so, but I wouldn't be surprised if Parker got something out of this fight. Uh, Jarrell Miller's going to be fighting Daniel Dubois. He's been mouthing off out there. Um, he even got engaged a, a bit with uh, AJ. Have a listen to this, Fabio. I smell That's what you would do. Since That's what one, you would do. I smell with me. That's what you would do. You know what I'm I know. You know, know how many times I've won a fight. You know what I'm saying? He said no. And then we'll fight me. You know what I'm saying? Do you answer that? Come on, bro. But that's between you Come and Come on, bro. Okay, I'm trying to tell you. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. You don't know about me, bro. I'm talking about Look you. Look at my record. I've been you, bro. Who have I done? Fabio, I can tell you that uh, altercation was in the hotel foyer over in Saudi Arabia, and he tried the same with Daniel Dubois. I mean, mm. what what is it? Is Miller all mouth and trousers? He's a lot of it. He's definitely a lot of it. Um, that's a big part to his game. Um, a big part of his game is the mouth, is the talk, is the build-up. Is trying to get in the opponent's head. Is to say whatever he can to get under their skin, to throw them off their game, and and take the attention off maybe the details of the fight in terms of his opponent's skills or even his own skills or whatever, and turn it into a a, a verbal brawl yeah. to, to unsettle things. Um, so that's a large factor of his game. So basically, he started the fight now, basically, days ahead of when the actual fight kicks off for him. The fight has started. He's ready to go. This is him. This is his round one almost, where he's just, he's running around. He's probably waiting around in lobbies for different fighters to come out and pops up out of his seat. And then starts having to go at the next person, then the next person. So it's part of his game. It's, it, there's nothing to, there's nothing new or not to be expected from him there. But it's interesting because, quite frankly, if he hadn't popped up with something to say at that wonderful press conference, you've got Daniel Dubois that's a mute. You've got Deontay Wilder that's wishing everyone the best wishes in the world, whereas previously he wants everyone in a body bag. And you've got Anthony Joshua telling people they can't speak for his career. Yeah. Right? Oh, we've yeah. read nothing. Mm. But he's a drugs cheat. You know, he's lucky to be fighting. And, you know, I hope Daniel Dubois goes in and knocks him out. Yeah. Because he's got too much of it. And he's trying to get under Anthony's skin because Joshua's got a big problem with him because Joshua will perceive that the, the fight that they were due to have that got that, that got rescheduled to Andy Ruiz, which is the beginning of the decline of Anthony Joshua, was he wasn't prepared mm. for Ruiz. He was prepared for Jarrell Miller. Miller gets banned for drugs. He goes in and fights Ruiz on his American debut and loses. Right. So there's bad blood there. Right. And Gerard Miller's just winding it all up. Mm. So listen, Fabio, we're delighted to have you on board. So tell us this as we leave you today. What is next for you? Um, uh, obviously, we, we, we're hoping this is going to be a very big year for you. Is it going to be Fraser Clark? In what direction are you going? Yeah, Fraser Clark's still the most likely candidate for me. Um, I want to be out early next year, Feb, March, something like that. So I'd like to be out and keep the ball rolling, keep the momentum going. Um, I'm in the gym been training it's have been for a few weeks now so preparing for an early start and a quick start to the year but I want to get something in. I want to have a nice a nice big fight at the start of the year but the the prospect for me or the the main thing I want to aim towards for the summer and next year is is that big fight at Portman Road um I need the right dance partner for that so whether that be whether that be Fraser or maybe someone else or if we, we we start having conversations with other people potentially but the big homecoming I think for me is is the one I want in the summer Fantastic. Ipswich continuing to go well as well with Leicester mm. nip and tuck, are they not? They are, they are. I'll be there at the weekend as well, Leeds away. Away day with some of the boys. So I'll be I'll be supporting them, having a having a having a shout and a rave and, and getting involved, but I can't wait because the team are smashing things at the moment. They're doing really well. Good lad, Fabio. We like you a lot. Thank you for that. Fabio Wardley joining us uh, this lunchtime, Simon. And of course, TalkSport in Saudi this weekend for the December 23rd uh, bill. And it's going to be unmissable. It's going to be live in TalkSport. You're looking mm -hmm. forward to that. I mean, is, I it, is this really getting to you now? You think, yeah, I'm going to tune into this. Well, I'm looking forward to Lyndon Arthur, see how he gets on against uh, uh, Dimitri Bivol. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing Anthony Joshua. 
I'm looking forward to seeing the Wilder fight. I'm looking forward to seeing pretty much all of them. Yeah. You've got Frank Sanchez fighting against Junior Fey. You've got Philip Hergovic fighting. You've got a lot of fighters out there that are going to be interesting in the heavyweight division for next year. And then you've got, you know, our own guy, you know, Lyndon Arthur fighting this beast in Bivol for the light heavyweight. It's a big, big bill. Yeah. Big, big bill.